Welcome to A Creative Mind, an online audio version of Flash Fiction Stories written by Carrie Zolka and Alice Nelson. More information about the authors as well as past episodes can be found at acreativemindfiction.com. This week's story is a science fiction story. It came out of the Science Fiction Microstory Contest for October of 2016. The theme and requirements were Save the girl or guy and you save the world, galaxy, or universe. A romance and adventure in deep space concept. It must include a human and non-human romantically involved, a cool spaceship, the fate of the planet or larger realm hanging in the balance, and it must be 750 words or less. The Fate of the Universe by Carrie Zilka It would have been a hell of a way to die. Tanaya let out a frustrated sigh. This sucks, she muttered, looking down at the cup laying on the floor. It wasn't that her new maid servant had tried to poison her. It was more that her heightened Borean sense of smell had not detected it. She was only alive because her human lover had burst into the room and knocked the cup out of her hand after intercepting some encrypted message or some such. It's only going to get worse, John said. You seriously need to get some bodyguards or something. I mean, shouldn't all the royal family members have one? I don't know much about your culture, but I'm assuming assassination attempts are pretty common. She shook her head, her flaming red hair shifting like hot embers. No, actually, assassination attempts are rare. Well, shit, I think. I have no idea. Us commoners never heard about them if they happened. But I guess that doesn't mean they didn't happen. Well, I can imagine you've upset a lot of people with your sudden royal blood discovery and all. Shouldn't they assign you some food tasters or something? She glared at him. Seriously, Johnny, I I don't know. I'm new to this, remember? I have no idea what the protocol is. I know, sweetheart. He wrapped her tiny frame in his arms. Tears welled in his eyes as he tried not to think about what her bloodline meant for their relationship. He was trying to be brave. He knew her coronation and subsequent alliance with the Telic race would mean an end to them. He'd never felt so strongly for another person in all of his life, and his heart was breaking. The universe had been on the brink of war when she'd been discovered purely by accident a few months ago. The two superplanets, Boria and Tel, had negotiated a marriage between Tanaya and one of their royal sons. The contract dictated they produce heirs, and that these heirs would subsequently rule the soon-to-be-united solar system. She was, in reality, nothing more than a breeding cow. But there were those that did not want the alliance. War was a very profitable business. He shivered at the thought of how close the assassin came. The Borean royal line consisted of only of males, and killing Tanaya would have ensured war. He ran his hands over her shoulders, such tiny shoulders to bear the weight of the universe. I don't want to not be with you, she whispered, her voice cracking. This isn't fair. I want to be with who I was meant to be with, not some strange telic man who I'm barely even physically compatible with and probably smells like guru dung. He resisted the urge to snatch her up and race out the door with her. He knew he couldn't allow his own needs to cloud his judgment. He'd been raised better than that. He moved her over to the window. They were in the Borean Palace. The soaring spires provided a stunning view of the docking station with all the different and cool-looking spaceships that had fascinated him as a child, and of the sprawling city the Boreans had built upwards over time. He stood behind her, his hands resting lightly on her shoulders, his mouth close to her ear. Look, he said. Look at your kingdom, princess. All of those people, they will live because of you. All of the different races and creatures that call this world and so many other worlds home. They will survive because of your sacrifice. His heart caught in his throat. Because of our sacrifice, there will be no war-torn streets, no bombed-out buildings, no hunger, no disease. She leaned back against him. I love you, she whispered, tears streaming down her cheeks. I love you too, sweetheart. I love you too. The end. Just a quick little story. Thank you for listening. You can find me on Twitter at Carrie Zilka, C-A-R-R-I-E-Z-Y-L-K-A. You can also find a Creative Mind Fiction podcast on Twitter. Our handle is at Fiction Podcasts. And of course, you can always find us on Facebook. If you're a writer and would like to participate, check out acreativemindfiction.com. There are links to all the writing stories on the website. Be sure to find us on iTunes on your iPhone or Podkicker on your Android device. Just search for a Creative Mind Fiction podcast and hit the subscribe button.